hi and welcome to my playhouse and normally the Danish people is the happiest people in the world we are battling with the Chinese about that that honor uh, but I'm afraid that I'm dragging the rest of the Danes down today because uh, I've had another disaster of a battery recharge here in my data center and uh, I was away from for one day, only less, actually less than a day, but I was away and I forgot to unplug the battery in the oops, but I had uh, plugged it in and I plugged it out to have it cool down and I plugged it in and I left and um, that was not a good idea. Actually, it was a total disaster because when I got back, their entire house smelled of uh, burnt plastic. And I knew exactly what has happened happened when I when I smelled that. I, I, I can still smell it. It's bad. But let's go see. Here is the battery pack. You can probably see the brown places. I think that there has been flames out of the battery pack. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure yet, but it looks really bad. I think, I think I have absolutely wasted these batteries also. This is not good. It's absolutely... I think the batteries has been charging and they have been letting out some... some gases and the gases might have been ignited at some point. It looks like that around... in all the cracks there have been flames or something like that. I don't know what else could could do that brown smoking thing and smell like that. Here is inside of the oops battery tray and also over here over there at the sides at the one of the side it looks like that there has been flames out the side of it there's nothing on the roof and there's there's a bit of acids left over on the bottom but this side is that looks fairly clean and the oops is complaining there's no battery in it I know that I'm gonna Turn it off and kill the sound. Thank you. So I think I'll have to uh, call this attempt to relive a uh, oops battery. Uh, disaster. Um, I've had flames inside of my hoops in my data center. I don't think this is good. I don't think I don't think I'm gonna try this again. I have one more battery pack but I don't think this is the way to go. I think it's it might be better to uh, to get a new one see if I can find some battery pack or <coughs> exchange the batteries inside of the battery pack or something like that because this is not working out for me so oh yeah this is not good but so um, to get the maximum out of this disaster I brought the batteries down in the basement again 
and it's standing right beside the all the other rune batteries so this is kind of a record for me destroying well it's actually 21 lead acid batteries within a month and it was definitely not on purpose let's see if we can and i'm gonna try to measure the voltage on the batteries and see if this battery pack what it's what it's doing there's actually 48 volts on it on that line and 48 volts on that line so the batteries are actually well they're not good but they're not totally wasted uh, Although I'm not gonna reuse these batteries, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna throw them out. I don't know what happens inside that, oops, because it really destroys the batteries. Oh, sorry. So it's just under 100, 100 volts in this thing. I'm gonna take it apart. Okay, I'm working on taking off the plastic, but the plastic has melted together with the batteries at some points. There's a little piece of tape here that will be part of what I'm fighting here. There's battery assets everywhere here. I can feel this on my fingers. It hurts. This is what it looks like. And down here the, the caps that I had glued on is absolutely wobbled. Something has really happened here. It's had some extensive heat coming out of that battery or that cell. I just thought I would try to clean off this and see. Yeah. Some of it, of it does come off, but the battery is totally wobbled here. And I'll try and measure the voltage on some of the batteries and see what that says. It's 
probably better <coughs> over here. And I'm um, gonna measure battery number one, closest to the multimeter. 11.85 7.29 this is probably one of the bad ones 3.2 volts. It seems that the, the ones that has wobbled the most is the worst. And this one out here is probably one of the better ones. Yeah. These two are still in the in the good category and the further we get down here, in the middle they're really bad. Probably because that's where the, the most it has been the most uh, heated. Um, there's battery acid everywhere. This one is also totally busted, and it's not even Mythbusters, so it's crap. Let's see if we can see the sides of it. Like these has like big vents coming out of the battery. it's all wobbled it looks like that the batteries has been charged with way more power than they could handle okay once again all the batteries has fused together and I'm gonna use a hammer to get them out of the box I have disconnected the leads it. Totally fused together with the other battery and dripping with battery acid. I'll, I'll have to dispose of this. stuff down here something has happened right there I think that's where the fire has been like that it, it has been heating so much that it has 
burn through the battery at that point. Yeah, there's a hole in the battery and there has been uh, flames of burning there and I have battery fluids all over my hands right now so I'll hurry up and get the last one out of here and go wash my hands. do that now just little water things and it's, it's it hurts so this is the mess that I'm left with so, the, this plastic case is <laughs> it must be rather good but it has it has restood a lot of damage and heat there is a hole in it down here where the one battery has burned through it but otherwise it's keeping in acid and stuff and it's really nasty I just I just went and washed it off my hands thank you for watching my video and do subscribe to my channel and now I'll probably have to go back and put on some warnings on the earlier videos that watch all the videos before you do something stupid like this but uh, yeah Let's see what happens. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. And you'll see me again. Bye-bye.